Well, everybody knows, you know, the, the, it was a very weird day. An hour before we left to go to the, to the place to fight, we got a call, a friend, suddenly Ken Shamrock is out. Suddenly they want us to fight a different guy who's a striker. We trained 80% ground, 20% striking. And this is, by the way, it's not an excuse to say, oh, it, it was a problem with the striking. It's not, because striking is still uh, Kimbo's number one thing. But it's just, you know, it, it was very weird. And suddenly, yeah, we go there. It, it, everything felt just strange. And yeah, what, what happened was we went to the fight and he got hit. He got hit with a punch that normally would have never knocked anybody out. I mean, it, it, it had no power on him. It was standing on one leg. There's no way you can generate any power. Obviously it did. Kimbo just got caught at the wrong time, wrong place. And for Patrozelli, he hit him at the right place at the, wrong, at the right time. Yeah, and he, and he won by knockout. So. so what do you think of the stuff that came out this week uh, with Seth Petrozelli where he said he was instructed to play a certain way in the back? Is that possible that that happened? You know, I, I, have a, I, I know there are knockout bonuses. But, you know, you got to understand, we, again, we trained 80% ground, 20% standing. So for the people who said that, you know, they, they paid Petrozelli to stand, I, to tell you the truth, I would have even thought it would have been better to let it go to the ground. We trained so hard on the ground, you know, so why would we, like in the, we, we're in the dressing room, we're, we're rolling, we're rolling and going over all the escapes and all the counterattacks, you know, and why would we do that if we're not going to fight, so, uh, not, if the fight's not going to go to the ground, so, if it is, it would have been behind our back, but I cannot imagine that, because he's a striker, we want to fight a striker. I have no clue why that's uh, why people would say that. What do you think of what went down with Ken? Because uh, I, I find it puzzling that you got the promoters and people around the sport who are saying that somehow Ken did this on purpose or with a no. not thing with the cut. I don't no. think the abuse that he's getting because he lost out on a big opportunity. Ken, Ken called me and uh, and he said, "Boss, I'm very sorry. I want to tell you we know each other for a long time, and I'm happy that he called because you know it, it's not." Uh, Ken had some things were going, issues going on. I don't know if I can go into that, so I, I'm not going to go into that. But his head was not at the right time, right place, and he was kind of angry. And to blow off some steam, he started working out. They started rolling around. Obviously, they rolled harder than they were supposed to go, and boom, there the cut was. So it was not his fault. He said, "Man, yeah, he regrets it so much." He says, "Still, listen, boss. If you want me to kick his ass, I'll do it." So he's still on for that. But it, it's very sad. He feels bad. We feel bad. It was it was a bad night because the whole turnaround. Overall, it was bad. Have you followed, I'm sure you've gotten calls about Kimbo from, from different media outlets. Have you followed some of the coverage? Because, I mean, up and down the line, he is getting the living crap kicked out of him as a yeah. farce. And, and uh, I don't know that anyone who's been around Kimbo thinks that he deserves to be beaten up as badly. I, I have not been following the internet. I stayed away from it because all the stupid comments we know that were going to come. Um, Kimbo didn't deserve any of this. Kimbo didn't make himself the main event. It was the people behind, not behind Kimbo, but the people from Elite C. They put him in the main event. I always said, let him get used to this game. Let him get him some fights. Let him get comfortable before he fights big shows, big fights, before he fights main events. You can't do that to a guy who fought just four fights. So, you know, did he behave himself bad in the public? No, he did not. Did he not train hard? He did train hard. Did he talk trash about other fights? No, he did not. He respected everybody. Did he say he was a world champion or there was a champ? No. I'm a little squirrel in this big world trying to learn the game. These are his exact words in every interview. So he doesn't deserve all this. This is just the media hype that hyped him up to make some kind of a superstar. And now Kimbo, yeah, he gets he gets the blame for it, you know, and it's, it, it's very sad. Like a knockout is not enough already. Now he gets this on top of it also. Can you envision a lead FC kind of backing off their approach and having him on the main card but not making him the focus or are they going to be really stubborn on this and go, hey, he's still a main event fighter because that's what they're saying right now. You know what, I, I, Kimbo's got that magnitude. Everybody wants to see Kimbo fight. So if there's going to be a rematch, everybody's going to tune in for that rematch again. So that's, that's going to be good. But Personally, I don't want it. Personally, I've been saying it for a long time. He doesn't need to be there. Let somebody for the wheelchair. Let Jake Shields. You know, he's the champion for crying out loud. Like, let him be the main event. Let us just fight on the undercard, you know, and let him get used to the game. Get him into the groove and then start fighting bigger and better opponents. Right, one other rumor to comment on, and uh, this came out late in the week. Again, Seth Petroselli, I'm not sure that he has a filter. Apparently he doesn't. Mm. But he was saying that uh, 
the entourage, not including you and, and Randy Katani, but the entourage around Kimbo got kind of nasty after the fight. That they were threatening people, that his wife was threatened. What did you see? I mean, did it get out of control afterwards? I have no clue what he's talking about. If that would have happened uh, with me around, I'm really nasty. I would, I would really tell these guys to, yeah, I, language that I cannot use in this interview. I, I'm, I'm very against that. I, I don't see that. If that's the truth, then, uh, then I'm ashamed for that because some things like that shouldn't happen. For what I do understand is that the wife of Petrozelli was talking to one of the, um, uh, the drivers from the whole group and they had a re really great conversation and she said with a laugh to the driver he says it's going to take 15 seconds it was before the fight so that was kind of cool that she said it so I thought based on that conversation that everything was cool in the gang but apparently it was not I didn't hear anything from it I would be very disappointed if it was